Everyone get your everyone get your pog champs ready. Did I lose? Get your pog champs ready, chat. I'm a doctor. This is a defensive nature build. The main idea here is using Curiel to protect Malfurion and Brucon. And then on the bench, you have a bunch of nature mercenaries that can come in and kind of fill the damage void or protection if you need it. Obviously, with Curiel, the most important thing here is the Tome of Light because you'll be taunting up quite a bit, making her a little bit stronger. But of course, the Seal of Light is also really good just to heal up your other mercenaries just in case they potentially need more healing. And then Crusader's Blow, I mean, I don't really upgrade this because the Death Blow is not going to be that relevant. But if you can get it, sure, go for it. But it's not really even worth it attacking a lot of the time. Now, Fearon, of course, is your main nature dude in this comp because of the Lightyard Staff giving a bunch of healing every single time you cast a nature spell. And Scenarian Surge just sets up nature so much that I think Malfurion is one of the best mercenaries in the game at the moment. Brukhan is also here because he's the nature boy, and when he's hiding behind Cariel, it can be very, very powerful to start stacking up lightning bolts against an enemy mercenary comp. Now, I will say this. You don't always want to start out with Brukhan. I think Brukhan is very situational. Sometimes you want to put an Anaconda if you think you're going to go against a lot of casters. Sometimes it's worth putting out Guff in case you think you're going against a lot of protectors and leaving Brukhan in the bench because Chain Lightning and the Lightning Rod equipment leaves Brukhan with an insane amount of burst damage when he comes off the bench to probably kill a bunch of protectors or just do a bunch of damage to any other mercenary. Anaconda is obviously here because she is a one mercenary bot for Surfer and Spites. If you get to stack it with Brukhan against the caster, it is absolutely nuts. Like you just one shot almost every caster in the game. And then of course, Karen's here. He does have a nature ability with Earth Stomp, which is very, very nice. But his main idea here is to protect if Cariel dies. And on top of that, he just gets extra healing from Malfurion, which is extremely important. And we use the reincarnation one if you do have it. Guff obviously is here because we have the Iron Bark um, in case we need more protection from Malfurion. Living Brambles is just an insane amount of damage and it can one shot a protector with Brukhan. It's pretty great. And then, of course, we're using the Brambleborn totem. Was that English as the main equipment? I don't know if this is like the best composition. It definitely really feels kind of weak against comps like Shadow that just don't really care about attacking because they'll just kind of focus your Malfurion down. And if Malfurion dies, it leaves pretty awkward. Against like Zyrella and Samaro, I think the comp does decently well, but I think the gameplay will speak for itself how awesome this composition can be. And I hope you like it. And if you do end up liking it, make sure you subscribe and you look fantastic. I hope the best. Blue, two green, one red. I think I'm still going for the, the start here. Two blue is a little scary. If it's shadow. So Anaconda might actually be better here than Brukhan. I do Burkhan and Anaconda, but I don't really like that. I think I think I'm prior to keeping her alive. Okay. I'm not sure if this is correct. We'll see. It's like tomorrow. I'm pretty happy. All right. I'm really glad I did this. All right. Who do we kill? Yeah, who's scarier? To, who do you guys think is scarier? Who scales with who gives them damage? I wish my freaking deck tracker wasn't trolling. Do we kill Tamsin then? We kill Tamsin, right? Tamsin, I guess. I think it's Tamsin. Right? If I lose this game, it's because I flip this turn instead of coming. No, you won't get away. Okay, uh, we just make sure she dies, right? We just gotta make sure she does. There's a chance Malfurion lives here too if uh, Carolina gets to go pretty early here. Nice, nice, nice! Let's go! And he lives! He lives to tell the tale, chat! Got the iron just to retweet it? Let's go, dude. That's awesome, man. Thanks for coming for so well for you. That's That was huge, chat. That was, that was some big plays right there. Okay. 
Listen, you motherfucker, you're not living this game. It's pretty, this is a pretty easy turn. Oh my god. Vulgin needs to die. He's he's the he's he's the target, chat. Vulgin's the target. <laughs> Dude, this is a good playlist. I should play this one more often. Some slappers here. No! Oh my god, what? They're trolling? He lived! Wait. Guff is so fast this turn. It has to be like this because I want to. I don't think it really matters in the grand scheme of the game, but because we get the proc this first into this. I mean, Vulcan's always dead here, right? Uh, we just want to verify it though. We just want to make sure he dies. Hold on. Job's done. I'm pretty confident Malfurion's dying, but like, Guff is actually going to be insane because he just gets so much life here if Malfurion gets the go. It, it might legitimately just be a quick 50-50 here. Oh my god. Good sage. Oh my god, he lived. That's a problem. That's really bad. Okay. That's so bad. That's so bad. Book 50 50. Such a big deal. Whatever it is. Whatever, buddy. It's all good, guys. I'm not tilted. You're tilted. Am I? <laughs> I actually lose the game. This arm runs away. The game, chat, the game is over, but just someone's aware. The game is, uh, the game is literally over. The game is. I repeat, the game is actually over already. Cause, uh, wait, hold on. All right, we're fine. We can actually kill Cariel here because she's not gonna get her death blow off. Hold on. Okay, that was fat damage. That was fat damage. Fat damage on lock, chat. Fat damage on lock. Two greens. Oh shit, eh? <laughs> I don't think it matters, but <laughs> we win this game, I I will be baffled. I will be actually baffled if we can win this. I think putting Malfurion out first was correct, right? Am I wrong here, chat? What do you guys think? Did you end up figuring out what game you're playing for Halloween? Yeah, I did. I did. Actually, I did. I did. I figured it out. I did. We got it. We got unlocked. Don't you worry. Okay. Back to you. I should have hit somewhere else, but it's fine. Oh, actually. <laughs> I like that. Done. 
I still believe copium. We can win this. We can win this. We can win this. All right, see you, Danos. We can win this, chat. We can win this. Everyone believe. Everyone stick together here, okay? I don't think that... I think there is a... I don't know if there's a cooldown for healing ability. It'd be cool if the death tracker worked 100% of the time instead of 50% of the time so I can see because, my God, it's tilting me. Die. Oh, my God. We killed her. Okay. That's actually... That... That right there, chat, might win me the game. And I'm not even trolling. I'm not even trolling. I'm not even trolling, dude. Okay, that's really scary, but uh, we'll be okay, I think, for the most part. I muddied her last turn, right? Okay, so she's super slow. That's pretty nice. Slow, slow gamers. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm really nervous here because... Uh, I'm about to get I'm about to get I'm about to get Shrek, dude. I'm about to get Shrek chat. This is it. Everyone get your everyone get your pog champs ready. Did I lose? Or did I win? Hold on, I won? I won? Get your pog champs ready, chat! We did it! <laughs> Let's get it! <gasps> Woo! Sheesh! Let's go, dude! We actually won that one too! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no way we won that right, game. Awesome. Okay, so reflection. Um, okay, so we see that I have three casters, two fighters, one protector. So my decision here was to go Cariel, Malfurion, and Lady Anaconda. Now, most of the time, you actually want to put out Burkhan, which is the smart play if they have majority protectors. But because I recognize that there's three casters in this game, Anaconda made the most sense. And I'm guessing Raren did that, right? Raren's a smart guy. Perfect. He's so smart. All right, awesome. And they went for Cariel, Temzin, and Natalie, I think her name is. Uh, so basically the whole point of this comp is that we focus the one that's gonna be the most infuriating, which turns out to be uh, Temzin Rome. So we focus Temzin here. Now, that means Malfurion goes there, Anaconda goes here. Anaconda is one ability. She doesn't have any other abilities. She's like Zyrella. Malfurion just uses the one that speeds up nature and we just taunt up so that um, Cariel has more life. So yeah, Sumerian Surge. We did that focus on her bada bing bada boom and we don't really care what they're doing because their game plan's not as relevant for ours so then we taunt up they taunted up as well i don't have the equipment for cario yet so she could tell that she got more attack i'm working on it the grind life is killing me so they focus i believe malfurion here because he is a protector and there's two casters so i'm looking yeah they did a lot of damage to malfurion but i did a lot of damage in, damage to uh Tamsin. and because of malfurion's equipment here and how fast we're going to be because they don't have vulgin out yet we basically get Malfurion to get, what is it, 12 more life just from the two things he will do. And if he gets to do it again, like his uh, Sarian Surge, the next person we bring out, which is guaranteed going to have a nature ability, is even stronger. And we focus Tamsin, right? So I healed up Malfurion in the hopes that he would live because we're pretty fast right now. And that was basically the plan, right? So if Malfurion heals enough, then there's a chance that Cariel can actually save him, which it ended up working out, which is fantastic. And then they... For some reason, she healed. I guess she was, she was going for the heal on uh, Temzin, but then because Temzin died too fast, they gave it to uh, Natalie. Uh, okay, so they brought out Vol'jin. I immediately recognized that I have to kill this this son of a gun as fast as humanly possible because Vol'jin is quite the spicy boy. If you leave him alive, you don't want that. So we focus Vol'jin. We heal up, um, and I think Cariel actually swings at me here. There's no other decision to make, right? Yeah, so we focus on this. Malfurion's still up, which means he's getting life. And he lived with one life, but they end up dead. Like, Kendall, they killed my carry, all right? Now, that's not necessarily bad, but Vol'jin at least is almost dead. And that's the most important thing. So, it's important to note that Malfurion, I think, is still the fastest person in the game. And that means Anaconda is also good. So, I think I brought out Guff here. And I brought out Guff because Guff has a free Iron Bark to actually proc Life Root Staff off Malfurion to heal more. That's the reason why I did Guff. Uh, just because if I did get that extra six life for Malfurion and he lived, there's a chance he would live one more turn, which would be absolutely infuriating. Malfurion obviously doing Cernayan Surge. And I just put both of my abilities on Vol'jin because Malfurion may not have the chance to actually hit Vol'jin, but if he can, that's awesome. If I knew Anaconda, uh, if I knew that Malfurion was going to swing guaranteed, maybe it was better on Natalie Selene here, but we did on Vol'jin. Anyways, let's see. I think Malfurion dies though. Let's see. Yeah, so if Malfurion died, it didn't matter what, what that position is. 
Uh, and then Vol'jin lives with eight life, which is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so in hindsight on this play, uh, the Iron Bark wasn't bad because I got a lot of stats from him, but I could have killed Vol'jin and killing Vol'jin for one extra turn was probably the equivalent of saving the life on Guff with Iron Bark. So probably just should have used something else to kill him. I could have actually used, uh, um, I was going to say, I could have used his like hitting ability to get the, the death blow, but no, nah, that's not good enough. Because if carry all taunted, it was fine. Anyways, uh, Vol'jin lives and I'm big Sag. You can see how, you guys can't see me. Hold on. You can see how frustrated I am in the corner here. I'm pissed. <laughs> so, uh, we put Bacon down. Bracon is good because he has his, uh, third ability that procs a bunch of times. So we put Bracon down. We already know that Vol'jin's going to die here no matter what. So we don't care about what's going on with that. And, uh, we move on with our life, right? I think that's it. I think after this, I think we just have smooth sailing because as long as I killed Natalie Celine, uh, Guff the Tough was actually really good against Rathurion or whatever the hell his name is. And then we don't want to kill Sylvanas yet. And Sylvanas is taking a whole turn to just get attack. And I don't think that was fast enough. She should have maybe done damage to someone, but that's fine. Yeah, that's our play. We waited for them. We did our thing. Once, uh, once, um, Anaconda died, which was, seems to be their focus. We just bring out our protector to focus on Rathurion because Natalie's going to die. And that's basically game. Pog champ chat. We did a good job, guys. This is fun. Thanks, guys. No props. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is an interesting comp now. We, we, you focus this guy. He's the focus. I think I even swing here. Okay. That was a mistake. So actually going sec first is worse than going second here. Cause wait, so I got the I got the remainder health. We're really out here. It's just always this. There's no other decision to make here. My guy, pretty lucky girl. Any five star stories to tell? I see you both sides like Chanel. I see her both sides. So, Taunting Froze is better with Carriel, that's for sure. Carriel's really good. Carriel's really great. Oh, uh, Rand, do you know what happens when you max out tasks? I just don't think you can get any more tasks. I think the cap's at 18, I think. I don't know. I haven't been that far. I gotta grind more. Fuck. Oh, Off stream today's gonna be a. Uh, a video or a time. That's 18. You don't get any more after that. Okay. There we go. So get more time to activate diabling and combos. I, I need to. I, the thing is, man, is I don't have Lich King, right? Like, do you guys want to watch PVE or do you guys want to watch PVP? Because I don't mind PVE if you guys are fine with it. Like, I just, I just would just talk about random crap. It's up to you guys. I think a lot of people are here for PvP right now. Oh my god, so many people picked me. Holy moly. Oh my god. Oh, so he chained lightning. Bear hug. Don't be done. Do whatever makes you happy. I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm not looking forward to the Lich King grind. Yeah, I need to farm Lich King though. I really do. He's too good, man. If I, I'll go until I lose. Like, I, there's a chance I lose this game, right? All right, so this happens no matter what, right? This does so much damage. Did he get the swing? Oh, he didn't actually get the swing last turn. That's a huge deal. He's gonna do a 22, 44. All right, it's gonna be unfortunate, but we'll see. I should, oh, I should have hit Malfurion. I should have hit Malfurion. 
Oh, I should have hit Malfurion. Actually, no, I think he's dead. Actually, I think he's dead. It's fine. Oh my god, I, I trolled. I trolled. I think they're both dead. God bless. I trolled that fight. I fucking trolled. I shouldn't have. Like, Anacar just nuts here, man. Really depends on what they put out. <laughs> Varden, really? My talking people trying to stay alive and just stay peaceful. Okay. So it says thirty-two. There's another healing. So Brucon, okay, Brucon is actually dead no matter what this turn. So the question is, do I focus? Focus her. Trying to stay alive and just stay peaceful. Oh, I just survive and we're so lethal. Do I take a stand and be our hero? This is fine. Because he dies. I think they have Karen too, right? I want to play this more. Let's give him more life. This has to hit here. I really don't want it to hit here, but I think that's the play. Oh, really? Okay. This might be bad. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Got flips, actually. That's actually so good. Wait. That's so good? Just kill Varden, I think we're fine. Holy shit, this is so close. Oh my god. I actually won this. I actually won this game, chat. I actually won this. Holy shit, that was that's actually insane. Like to win this game is kind of insane. won that dude and i i got oh my god i can't believe i actually won that game that's bonkers man